Schools welcome students back very soon, and that means the need for uniforms is pressing concern. Echo Housing's Kim Armstrong is here with this week's Uniform Drive info. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too, Amy. Representing today. Yes, yes. representing. Got to do yeah. it. <laughs> so uh, at St. Lucas, UCC and Fresh Air, uh, Uniform Drive this week. Tell us how all that came about and where we are as far as supplying the needs. Okay, yeah. So, um, so our children at Echo Housing, we have uh, three different places that uh, that Lucas Place, our scattered sites, and our um, House and Bread and Peace now uh, have children that are going to go back to school, and we were brainstorming on uh, you know how to get them the things that they need to get a good start to school. And so, uh, you know, we always like to work with you, Angie, with Fresh Air and St. Lucas, and you guys are right across the street. And so we wanted to reach out to you. We also reached out to some other uh, churches, St. Paul's UCC, and um, and we're just putting this all together, a bunch of different community uh, partners coming together to make sure that these kids have what they need to start school. And are we, how are we doing? I know at American Kay Sturmer's just been going crazy getting everything together. So where are we now and do we, is, is, do we still have need? Well, I think as far as uniforms are concerned, I believe we have most of what we need uh, for the uniforms, um, you know, but there are always uh, needs. <laughs> just always needs. Um, so for this particular um, drive, we may have what we need, um, but um, you know, Mary Kay might need some extra help. And I know that there have been places that have been donating money to her uh, so that she could go out and shop. Um, so, so yeah, don't, uh, any kind of monetary donation really helps uh, get the kids what they need. Ongoing. And plus, it's yeah. just what a heartwarming event. And this will take place uh, along with Shoe Sensation. Uh, yes. And so this takes place at St. Lucas at Fresh Air on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. At, at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, we will have all of our uh, kiddos from Echo Housing come in. And uh, we will actually have Kona Ice there. Uh, we've had some great donations from uh, church families of cookies and cupcakes. And we will have a uh, lunch for the kiddos. Uh, we will then let them, uh, shoe sensation comes and they invite EPD to come help fit the kids in their shoes. And so th they will have a uh, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, shopping for their shoes and getting the right size. And then they will be able to pick up, uh, all the supplies, uh, school supplies that they need, uh, thanks to St. Paul's UCC and pay it forward. Um, and then they'll be able to get some uniforms thanks to St. Lucas and Fresh Air. Uh, and so it's just an all-around good feeling and making the kids feel special. Well, and I think, you know, you made a point in the material you sent today that this is a way that other organizations and other church uh, families can come together to support the many needs that you're trying to supply throughout the year. Exactly. You know, one of the bigger things that I feel like um, if people want to volunteer and donate, uh, one thing that they can do is have a drive for certain uh, items that our residents need. Uh, you know, there's always a need for cleaning supplies. There's always a need for diapers. There's always a need for, uh, you know, our daily living hygiene. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, if anybody wants to do something special for Echo Housing and our clients, uh, doing a drive for a particular need, I'm always putting out needs on Facebook. <laughs> Just follow you on Facebook and Absolutely. see that. And then reach yeah. out to Kim if uh, you want to get on board with the, the big work of Echo Housing. Right. Thank you, Kim. Right. And thank, thank you, you for Angie. including us. Thank you. We'll be back with more local lifestyles right after this. Please stay with us.